today I have this card this is faulty one like let me show you the MOSFETs these are faulty and uh, these are ok and uh, on this side if you see these are ok and the IC these IC need to, to be replaced because of this so let's replace these things and see what will happen you can see now screws are removed and now I will use my iron to remove these things from this card so let's remove these you things you can see the faulty MOSFETs are removed these are the faulty ones so these are the other legs to support to flow large current one thing more we need to check this IC one this IC should be checked it should be uh, the value of these resistance should be equal to the value of on this side resistance you can uh, uh, if, if you don't know, know the value of these resistance then you can get the idea from this these resistance and also we need to check these uh, MOSFETs and also these MOSFETs if anyone is faulty and give any continuity then uh, we will also replace the MOSFET and the resistance and after replacing these things we need to replace these both IC this is 7392 the driver IC and uh, I will replace with him it with other like yes IR2110 I will replace with it IR let's replace the things uh, now you can see the MOSFETs are replaced you can see the MOSFETs are now replaced let's replace the IC now IC are also replaced you can see IRS so let's fire this U card let's I have put this card in this you can see the IC the more sets and you are you need you need to put all the connection like what I have done I have put supply transformer connections fan display connections and battery positive and negative so i just just disconnect this this connect connector which goes to transformer so i just just need to switch it on on battery mode you can see 20 volt it, it just give 20 volt at and <coughs> goes on overload but on what we have get we get 20 volt so it means everything is okay now we need to check their drive now I'm going to just connect to the connection let's see what will happen it working fine yes let's check output voltages two twenty three Okay. so let's put it on 
and battery voltage is around two and the charge voltage two. Let's put it on main supply. That put some load on this UPS. This is a two hundred watt bulb. Here we go. As I put the load, hold it drop to 230 and batteries are also discharging. Let's see how much discharging current is how much current is discharging through this symmetry set on zero. Around eight eight ampere is discharging current. Okay, good. So let's Put main again. Uh, you can see the charging current is nine amp. If we want to decrease a discharging current, then we can decrease by. First we need to run the UPS on battery mode for a long time. So just wait for one and two minutes and we will increase the discharge uh, discharge we will, and then we will adjust the current. Now the charging current you can see is 9 amp and I am going to decrease it by 8. I just increase it at 10. Now I am decreasing. Yes. It's around 6. 5. Now again increase it. Going to from this port. 5. 6. 7. Eight, nine, and yes, I think nine is This CHC, this CHC port is for charging current and OVL is for to set the over, over, overload and this is for high low cut auto battery volt regulator port and this is to set the output voltages and one more port is here yes this is for to set the battery voltage if you want to increase the battery voltage then you can increase